testing the myths of golf course maintenance. Is it fact or fescue? I'm the extension specialist, but that's not my only role. I'm, on, I'm also a professor, so I have a split appointment between research and extension. Dr. Leinauer teaches, fields calls from superintendents and turf managers with questions, and focuses on applied research. Dr. Leinauer and his team conducted a study on using a coated seed-like yellow jacket from Berenbrug, USA, versus a traditional non-coated seed. As uh, one of the challenges the turf managers here face, and that has to do with the climate, uh, we are a desert environment, so it's very dry. Many times we have soil issues. Uh, soil here can be saline, high pH. There are lack of precipitation issues. So it is very hard to establish grass from seed. One of the possibilities that uh, superintendents have to establish turf areas from seed is using coated seed. One of our first work with the seed coating material was in 2006 with the yellow jacket that is on the market and uh, we put out uh, several grasses at a reduced seeding rate and at a normal seeding rate and then we also had it under reduced irrigation and under normal irrigation. Water has become a major issue in the industry and more courses are dealing with effluent water. This can have an impact on the germination and establishment of a seed. More and more golf courses are being forced um, switching to non-potable water uh, or saline water. And that water can either be treated effluent or uh, can be just saline groundwater. As of now, you're usually exempt from watering restrictions during establishment. But in my opinion, it is only a matter of time that a uh, turf um, manager will also face the same water restrictions also during establishment. Having uh, material, in this case having a coated seed available, that will assist and will enable the turf manager to reach complete coverage, uh, even under reduced irrigation, is extremely important. So what are the benefits of the coated seed like yellow jacket that Dr. Leinauer and his team found during the research? The coating uh, provided enough beneficial effect that you can uh, reduce the seeding rate and you can also reduce the watering during establishment and still reach complete coverage. It holds moisture better and tighter around the seedling. So the moisture relationship in the soil around the seedling is improved. And this is plant available water and that actually helps the seedling to develop faster and to grow quicker. So this can be very helpful uh, for the golf course superintendent or for the, the turf manager, whatever, whatever area needs to be established because that also means or, or can mean that uh, the plots uh, reach uh, full coverage sooner. That means the area can can be open for play sooner. And having uh, material available, uh, seed coating for example, that help and assists the grass plant to make it through the, these early stages until it reaches maturity to, to compensate better for these uh, environmental stretches is very important and very helpful. One common misunderstanding with coated seed is that a superintendent has to double the sowing rate of a coated seed to get the same coverage of non-coated seed. Now, seeding rate is given as pounds per thousand square feet or pounds per acre. And uh, the, seed, the seed coating applies additional material to the seed, so your seed weight goes up. So your, your seeding rate per se, just as a number, can go up, but that does not mean you put more seed on the ground. Golf course superintendents are reporting that they are also seeing benefits in the second year after establishment with the coated seed. They report that the seed coating uh, not only helps the grasses to uh, est uh, establish faster and for the grass, for the plot or for the area, to reach maturity quicker and, and sooner. Uh, but some of these benefits uh, supposedly also extend into the second year. So you not only see that the during the first year of establishment, but you also see it during the second year. So we just started a two-year project where we use um, um, a coated seed, uh, and then uh, we not only look at it uh, the first year for establishment, but we also will look at these grasses in the second year, whether any of these uh, benefits that we see the first year extend into the second year, whether we can um, 
uh, quantify any of these uh, benefits better than just uh, through anecdotal information.